welcome back to Pia Talks. And tonight we are talking Watch What Happens Live with Casey Wilson, Dolores Catania, and the final four finalists from Project Runway, which is a show that I absolutely love. And I can't wait for the finale tomorrow. But anyway, let's get into Watch What Happens Live. So it looks like Frank was in a really bad accident. Something happened on the construction site where he was going down some steps. He missed a step and he has broken both legs. He is in the hospital and he won't be up and walking again, I guess, for another four months. I guess he's also losing a ton of weight. But the most shocking thing about this is David and Frank live together. Frank actually lives at David's house. This is absolutely crazy to me. This is the weirdest relationship. I tell you, I'm completely shocked by this. But why am I shocked by this? Anyway, Dolores looked absolutely stunning on tonight's episode. I loved her dress and I definitely loved those boots. Also, there was a question posed to her that if David had an ex-wife and she lived at David's house, would she be okay with that? And she said if she was nice to her, absolutely she would be okay with that. Dolores has a really open mind and I think she is really trusting because I would not be okay with that. But that's just me. Andy also brought up the fact that at the reunion he asked Frank about her and him having sex. Take a listen. Frank, no one believes you and Dolores aren't sleeping together. If she won't tell the truth, maybe you will. Um, I'm gonna stick by whatever Dolores says. <laughs> Amelia, oh! Oh! have you ever had a slip up? Attracted you mean like a slip in? Other. Yeah. <laughs> right? uh, not that I agree. Oh, you got not that you can I, I want to know. Um, so wow. that's interesting. I feel like Frank was hinting at something there, don't you, Casey Rose? Uh, absolutely. Frank has always spoke to me like that. I'll get a random text in the day. You're the most beautiful. I think she did a great job deflecting. However, I stand by what I said in my video for The Real Housewives Reunion Part 2. I don't think that that is the truth. I think that Dolores and Frank have had sex at some point. I do not have proof, so it's alleged, but I do think that. Andy played a montage of Jennifer Reason. Take a listen. She came in guns came blazing. In guns blazing. Yeah, guns blazing. <laughs> yeah, she, Thoughts, Casey? I just feel like, wow, she was ready to play. Yeah. She came to play. Uh, fine. Yeah. She likes what she does for a living. Right. Okay. So when speaking about Jennifer's behavior at the reunion, Dolores said that Jennifer really likes her job. And I took that as she really likes being on TV and she really likes being the center of attention. So she acts that way just to make sure that she's getting the attention and the spotlight. And that's exactly what Jackie, Melissa and Marge were saying the whole time that she is really seeking attention. And I don't know. I don't think Jennifer would be who she was if she didn't feel like she had to be in the spotlight. So at the reunion, Tamara bust out that that's just her opinion. So Andy decided to make a game called yes. Casey's Opinion. Take a listen. Play that's Casey's Opinion. Oh. Casey, it was Jennifer versus Margaret, Melissa, and Jackie at the reunion. Whose side are you on? Margaret, Melissa, and Jackie. Uh, reaction to the revelation that Teresa influenced Danielle in pulling Margaret's ponytail. Wasn't great, but I liked seeing her on that rock or just rocking back and forth on the porch. Okay. <laughs> Thoughts on Joe Judice's treatment of Tree and the girls during their Italian family reunion? 24 hours in, he's like, oh, these kids. Right. <laughs> he's been gone for three years. A Jewish man would yeah, never, never say that. Man would yeah, never, never, never. Never, never. Um, thoughts on Joe Judice's lack of um, lack of um, feeling bad about his crime. I mean, it's kind of par for the course. Right. Um, you're a huge Kenya fan. Thoughts on her submissive alter ego, Ken, and was a separation from Mark the best solution for their strife? Absolutely. I never want to see Ken again. I love Kenya. I stand strong I with her. Mark needs to go, and I'm glad he has. 
Thoughts on Cynthia and Nini's re- on Cynthia and Nini's reconciliation. I cried the entire time. You did. Of course I did. I'm invested in 50 Cent and Nini's relationship. <laughs> and go with God. I hope it continues. Jackson Britney's marriage. <laughs> Thoughts on them as a couple, the whole situation. I personally am over the wedding and Britney's like, I'm getting married, yo! Like I'm I'm awesome. You're done. I'm done. Uh, thoughts on the new servers this season? Do you have a favorite? I can't tell them apart. I can't tell them apart. I can't okay. tell the guys apart or the girls apart. Charlie, I'm feeling a little bit, but Dana's I don't need the young comedy stylings. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, <laughs> Casey. I think Casey did a great job. I totally agree with her that I am so over Jackson Brittany in this wedding. Jax is just. There's, I'm just done with it. I'm ready for this whole wedding thing to be over. Let's move on to Stassi's wedding or move on to Lala's wedding, somebody's wedding. Because Lala and Stassi are not acting anywhere near as crazy as Jax and Brittany. Did I mention how excited I was that the Project Runway Final Four were actually in the clubhouse? Andy asked them who was the hardest judge. And of course, the winner was Nina. Nina Garcia is absolutely hard. I mean, that's her job as an editor for fashion. I mean, she's going to be very particular. Am I happy at the fact that Victoria made it to the final four? Hell no, because I think Victoria should have went home a long time ago, but I'm not even gonna get into it because it's just gonna tick me off. She should have been gone a long time ago. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. Andy also asked them, how about Christian and they said that he is really awesome and I thought so I'm telling you I love Christian and I have liked him since his season of Project Runway which of course we know he won I mean he's amazing definitely an all-inclusive designer and they don't come any better than Christian so a call came in and they wanted to know if Dolores felt vindicated after Teresa and Danielle's relationship finally you know imploded and she said yes, but she didn't need to feel that way. Like it wasn't anything that she was rubbing in. Like she just knew that at some point Danielle was gonna screw everything up, which didn't we all know that? I think we all knew that. Another caller wanted to know if Casey thought that Jax was being a drama king by throwing Sandoval out of the wedding, then putting him back in the wedding and changing his placement. And she said, absolutely, he was being a complete Groomzilla, which is exactly what I've been saying. Jax has really been doing too much. And I am so happy that we have one more episode dealing with that wedding. And after that, I don't want to hear anything else about Jax and Brittany's wedding. I want Jax and Brittany to go back to acting like they were before and stop thinking that they have to be treated extra special as if they're the only people to ever get married. <sighs> that is all. I tell you, I get way too worked up about this. I need to calm down. Man. Andy asked Dolores about Joe Judice. Take a listen. For me is uh, everybody's opinions about Joe Judice and the marriage and everything. I feel like now that he's deported and out and this is all behind them, people are really speaking. Well, it's because she's come out with how she really feels about things. Yes. So before that, you couldn't speak to her, nor did you want to. Right. When yes. someone still loves their husband and wants to believe whatever right. they want to believe, you keep your real friends will shut their mouth. You are. Okay. Sometimes I don't always agree with Dolores, but I totally agree with her here. When it's your friend and your friend is still in it, still trying to make their marriage work, you just keep quiet until they're ready. And I think Dolores was a good friend to Tracy. Casey was asked an interesting question about Bravo celebrities. Take a listen. Yeah, most awkward interaction with a housewife. Honestly, I've had good interactions. I just met Nini for the first time and I thought we walked away great friends <laughs> after our one minute meeting. Um, <laughs> okay, I had a bad one. Tamara Judge, Barney Judge, sent me a ton of very nasty DMs once. Wow, okay. That's but then asked nice. if she could be on the podcast. I oh. said to a nice <laughs> when you Push pull. Yeah. Push pull. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Are you surprised or shocked at all? And were you surprised or shocked that she actually wanted to go on Casey's podcast? Uh, no, not at all. I'm telling you, the girl is a mess. And from what I understand, 
not only is Tamara actually coming back to the Real Housewives of the OC, I have heard that Vicki Gundelson is also coming back to the Housewives of the OC, but that they're both coming back as friends to the show, but they're gonna get more time, more episodes, and more money than the original offer, which is super crazy to me. You know, that's what I heard, so it's alleged until we know for sure, but I have heard that Vicki has been filming and Tamara, so Allegedly, they are both back at the OC Housewives. Andy asked Casey if she could play any of the real Housewives, who would she play? And she said, Sonia Morgan, all the times that her teeth fell out. Now you remember there was plenty of episodes where that woman was having plenty of issues with her teeth falling out. And I thought to myself, you are Sonia Morgan. You are always letting us know that you are a Morgan of the Morgans. And with all that money and prestige and class, how do you not have permanent teeth? That's just my Hello, question. Anyone. I'm just saying, if you have all that money, where is your teeth? Did anybody else think that? Put that in the comments, let me know. Orson Casey played the Clubhouse Playhouse where they reenacted a scene of Dolores fighting with Danielle. It was just too silly. I mean, it was ridiculous. And I remember the episode that that fight happened. Very dramatic. Someone also asked Casey which Bravo celebrity wedding would she like to attend? And she said she'd like to attend Lala's wedding because she really likes Randall. So tonight's episode was pretty cool. I enjoyed having Casey on the show along with Dolores and the Project Runway Final Four. It was pretty cool. I enjoyed watching every moment of Watch What's Happen Live tonight. Plus Andy is always animated. You gotta love him. So Hey, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now. And until next time.